The contributions of the lawyer legislator to Virginia dates back to colonial times. The importance is no less today than it was at our founding. Hi, I'm John Huddleston, and welcome back to The Big Picture. Join us today as we meet Richmond lawyer Jennifer McClellan, who continues this proud tradition. If you look back, some of the most dramatic changes in American history were, were either started by or done by lawyers, starting with you know, Thomas Jefferson was a 32-year-old lawyer who wrote the Declaration of Independence. Um, James, uh, James Madison was about the same age when he wrote the Constitution. Um, you know, he and the Constitution came about because he and Alexander Hamilton, who was his, in his 30s, decided, you know, we need to fix the way the government is working. Um, on down the line, uh, and so that naturally led me to want to be a lawyer. I think it's very important to have lawyer legislators, and we don't have as many as we used to. Um, and and you, can, you can see a difference, and you can tell which legislators are the lawyers. I mean, you are writing the law. So it helps to have someone who understands, you know, how the law works, um, who can understand the importance of one word over another one, um, and sort of the way we're trained to approach issues and solve problems helps in committee hearings. Uh, because sometimes, you know, we may see an unintended consequence sure. that somebody else might not. And so uh, that's been very important. Um, you know, it helps you figure out the right questions to ask. Uh, and then obviously, you know, when we're debating on the floor, you can tell who the trial lawyers are because sure. they're the ones who can, you know, immediately, you know, be quick on their feet and jump up in response to an issue whether they, you know, had come in prepared to do it or not. Um, and, and I think um, we're a better place for that. Jennifer, can you tell us a little bit about what it means to come uh, to work uh, for the citizens of Virginia? Uh, in such a venerable building. Um, well, it's a pretty awesome place to, to come and work uh, every day and passing laws and to sit uh, where so many historical figures sat. Um, the building is one of the oldest capitals, might be the oldest capital in the country, designed by Thomas Jefferson, a young lawyer at the time. Um, and where we're standing now, the House Chamber was added in, in 1903. Um, and so many things have happened here, both good and bad, uh, that, that sometimes just to sit here and absorb the history uh, is, is uh, pretty awesome. It's a beautiful place and you know sometimes when you, when you sit here and we start the day with the Pledge of Allegiance and you think about how much history has come through here, both good and bad, um, and in particular, you know, it was in this very chamber where, where you know, the whole policy of massive resistance was put into place. And to now, you know, to be you know, an African-American woman serving in this legislature, sitting where those folks, sent, folks sat, you know, it shows you how, how far we have come um, and just, uh, you know, you get In a people, relatively short period of time. In a relatively short time. Yeah. So. Yeah. You know, one of the things I've, I've seen is, is there are a lot of people who have problems that feel like they have no voice in the government. And uh, being a legislator not only has allowed me to, to work to solve those problems, but to, to be their voice here um, and, and to bring their perspectives and point of views to public policy making in a way uh, that, that I probably couldn't do just as a lawyer dealing with one person at a time uh, in court. And, uh, that's been extraordinarily satisfying. Jennifer, you have for years been very involved with any number of organizations, the local SPCA, the Boys and Girls Clubs of the Greater Richmond areas. You uh, have been very involved with the Virginia State Bar, having recently served as the uh, president of the Young Lawyers Conference, mm -hmm. the hardest working group within the uh, uh, State Bar organization. Uh, tell us a little bit about what led you to uh, your community involvement as a lawyer. Sure. Um, I come from a family that's very community service oriented. Um, you know, my parents lived through the civil rights movement. My grandfather was a lawyer, uh, tried some cases during that time. And I knew I wanted to be involved somehow, but didn't quite figure out how until uh, I decided to become a lawyer because uh, Throughout our history, lawyers have been at the forefront of, of making change and, 
um, in the social justice movement in particular, and uh, I wanted to be a part of that and would figure out exactly my path at some point later, and it kind of chose me. One of my passions is, is children and education. My parents were educators, and uh, I felt that if I could, in some small way, help particularly at-risk kids um, to have some of the resources they need, um, and so that naturally led me to the Boys and Girls Clubs, which provides a safe place for kids during that time period when they often will get into trouble between three and six if they had a place to go and activities um, that were sort of broadening their horizons, perhaps they would uh, not get into to more dangerous things. Um, and the SPCA, I love animals, uh, got my dog at the SPCA and uh, more through my work in the legislature, working with them, uh, it became a natural fit for me to, to get more involved uh, as a board member. Um, I had carried legislation for them in the past and uh, that was a natural fit. Um, a lot of my community service work um, has been in sort of uh, preserving history. I was on the board of the Black History Museum and the Oliver White Foundation Board to sort of make sure that uh, the, the rich culture and history of African Americans, particularly in Virginia, uh, was, was known. Um, and that was natural because you know, I'm a big history buff. I got interested in public service uh, and in politics, you know, reading about history. Jennifer, thank you so much for taking the time today to talk to us. We really so much appreciate uh, the good work you've done uh, as president of the Young Lawyers Conference uh, throughout your bar service, uh, through your work within the community in the greater uh, Richmond area, uh, and as your service to the Commonwealth, not only representing the 71st District, uh, but to the Commonwealth as a whole. You very much made a difference uh, for the citizens of Virginia. Thank you. Virginia is for good lawyers. We hope you enjoyed today's feature on Jennifer McClellan, who truly embodies Jefferson's concept of the citizen lawyer. And in the weeks ahead, we're going to have a whole lot more to say on the concept of the citizen lawyer. In the meantime, on our next episode of The Big Picture, join us as we meet a Richmond lawyer whose work in the community yields not only a positive message, but a pretty good meal to boot. See you next time.